So I'm Shay. I'm Amy. I'm 21. Recently turned 19. I go by they, them. She, she slash her. And I am a developer. I'm a computer scientist student. Games programmer at university. I do amateur dramatics, as well as sort of running D&D campaigns for friends. And I also like to bake. Hobby-wise, play a lot of video games. I wasn't a happy kid, but I wasn't very, very different to anybody else. I never really fitted in perfectly. As a child, I was very tomboyish. I wasn't your stereotypical girly girl. I did get bullied a lot because I acted sort of more of boyish rather than a girl. But at the same time, boys would see me as too girly, but the girls would see me as too boyish. So too sort of headstrong, too rough and tumble type person. But I did have a good group of friends. So I never felt alone in these situations. I never fit into anybody's a grouping of people. So there'd be the popular male kids, the um, sporty kids or the, the study group. I never fit into any of them. I was always like in my own little place, in my own little, little world, so to speak. I always did feel different and just a bit out of place in school. My group of friends was very much uh, like a mix. We like to think that we were all sort of the misfits. So none of us fit in a particular group. We were all completely different, but we all sort of came together because we didn't fit. I didn't associate with really anybody. There was no one I really grasped onto. I'm like, I'm like you, or we're like similar people. I was always into my own little thing, my own little world, very disassociated with the real world. I didn't play the same sort of games that a lot of the other girls were playing. In my school, girls would play Kiss Chase, and they'd all be sitting around doing each other's hair and stuff like that. I'd find that way too boring. So I would make up my own games. I knew people were expected to like certain things, but I tended to always like quite gender neutral things. I used to like pop culture, but it was never like, I like the war movies that all the other dudes like, or I like all the girly movies. I was always in between somewhere. I'd liked a bit of both and I'm still like that now. I don't really have any social norms or I must like this and must like that. I've always gone my own way, which has surprisingly been quite in the middle of gender neutral. There were teachers who expected me to act more grown up because I was a girl. I just don't understand the stereotype of girls have to be prim and proper and stuff and they have to grow up faster and things like that because that wasn't me. When I went into secondary school, I would sort of hang out with my friends, most of whom were girls, and just something would feel off. Like I'd never actually felt like I was one of them, if that makes sense. So I never felt left out or anything. They always tried to include me, but it just didn't feel quite right. I was 14 maybe, when I could put a name to it. I knew things were wrong for a, for a long time before then, but I didn't know why. And it's just about semi-normal. That's how I was meant to feel until I grew a bit older. I was like, this ain't normal. This lasted too long. There's issues. And uh, then I managed to, with a lot of time and thinking and speaking to people through, through accidental causes, I never searched out anybody. I just ended up working out kind of who I was. Through just living life, I guess. I didn't really know that non-binary was a term until I came to uni and I started hanging out with people who identified as non-binary. The first time that I sort of started th seeing myself as non-binary was during my first year of uni, so around 19, because I finally had a word for the way that I was feeling. My first year of college would have been my 16, 17, when I started to be full-time me. Before then I did occasionally, but nowhere, like not before I was 15. When I turned 15 I started to do it quite regularly, at least alone. And then when I went to college it was like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to college as a dude. I'm going to college as me. I can't be bothered with that anymore. That's too much effort. Trying to keep that persona of someone else. But I didn't fully realise until I was about 20. After I went through a relationship where I kind of got more forced into the female box. So as that relationship was coming to an end, I actually realized that I wasn't female. I didn't fit in that box. So I realized very close to my 21st birthday. I feel more comfortable in unisex bathroom. So on uni campus, we have a gender neutral toilet in Berg. We have the gender neutral toilet in Ember as well. But obviously in the other buildings, I would use the disabled toilet because I don't feel comfortable going into the girls' bathroom when I know there's going to be a lot of other girls in there because I always come out of the stores and feel very uncomfortable because I'm seeing these people who I 
I don't identify as that. People are always more ballsy online. So I've always seen a lot more negativity online about it. People are hiding behind their little keyboard. I've never had anybody in a public bathroom being like, what are you doing in here? I can almost guarantee some people who have been in there and could tell I'm trans would say something online, but I've never experienced any issues with it. I do think a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do. But to me, I don't see any issue, positive or negative with it. To me, it's just like, you go into the bathroom, you know? It doesn't matter. I, I don't want someone being like, no, you're not allowed here. Just treat me like a normal human being. I'm gone there to pee, you know? There is a small section of people who just have loud voices. And it's very annoying because there's a lot of people who will see things that are saying things like they shouldn't be allowed. But a lot of the people that I surround myself with don't care. And the majority of people don't care. I would say my personal style is very ironically emo or alternative. Since I was very, very young, I always would wear like, skull and crossbone t-shirts and things like that. Like, when I was like five and six or whatever, it's just always really been my style. And then when I came out, I just transferred that from a more male side of it to a more female side of it. I still wear the same band t-shirts because most band t-shirts tend to be gender neutral anyway. Skinny jeans again, same thing. And my style hasn't changed that much. I do wear makeup now and I do black eyeliner and all that fringy stuff you hear about. The, the ideal look at a 2000s emo, that's what I want to be <laughs> pretty much. It's, it's, a, it's an inside joke to a lot of people. I'm, I'm that one emo chick who still hasn't realised it's past 2008, but there's nothing wrong with 2008. I was stamped by that. My style is mostly just whatever I pull out the drawer. Most of the time, it's comfy, baggy clothes. I'll wear jeans and men's cargo trousers because they have such deep pockets and it's so easy to sort of carry everything. And baggy clothes and... I like hoodies. Growing up, I always felt uncomfortable just wearing a t-shirt. I always wanted to put a hoodie over me, even if it was too warm to wear a hoodie. And I kind of had to stop myself doing that because that's not very safe to wear very heavy clothes in warm weather. And then recently I've started getting into wearing like leather jackets and things like that because they just look cool. I think people can get a rough sense of who I am based on what I wear. I think people can look at how I dress wearing band t-shirts for my favourite bands. People look at that and go, okay, the people who like those bands tend to be like that. And obviously it's not a sense. Um, no one can look at me and go, I know everything about you. You can quite easily tell I'm not trying to fit into everybody's expectation of things. I think people can get a sense of who I am, like my quote unquote emo side of my identity. What like music I'm into especially is very obvious based on how I dress, I think. I do think some people look at me and go, oh, they're, they're really depressed and sad and things sometimes, which is wrong. I'm quite a happy person to be around, I would say. But I do think my style does, at least to an extent, give off quite a bit of who I am. I tend to use clothes to hide the more female attributes of my body. The baggy t-shirts, the men's cargo trousers, they hide my hips a bit more they hide my boobs and stuff like that and that helps me to sort of feel more comfortable in my own skin because I can't see it and if I can't see it it's not there that sort of mentality people don't care as much as we think before I was like people are gonna care so much but everybody just lives in their own little bubble you know come out with a way to make you feel worth what you're doing you come out people who will see you experimenting will then want to do it a lot of people look like other people for style choice like I might wear a flag attached to my belt which I do sometimes someone else will look at that and go I quite like that. I might do that. So by you experimenting, you would help other people experiment more and get a more diverse society because of it. If you want to experiment, don't don't let anybody hold you back from that. It's your body, your life, you know? With the people that I surround myself with, I've never felt in around them because the majority of them accept me for who I am and that's just how it is. There are times when I feel uncomfortable, like people that I haven't fully come out with and I'm wearing my pronoun badge around them, but usually they're the people that I want to be out to, so I'll be wearing it as my way of coming out rather than making it sort of enter a room. Boom, I'm non-binary. Instead, it's sort of just like a little thing that just gently nudges them to let them know that I'm not female. I'm an internet personality to an extent. I've run a YouTube channel and Twitch channel for like seven, eight years now. And you do get people who are not happy about it when they find out. It's like, oh, I liked your content for half a year and I looked into you a bit more and found out you're trans. I don't want to watch you anymore. But what, what's the difference? You found out one fact about me and suddenly you hate me. Well, I've been a negative. I had a couple of public bad experiences with people as well, especially younger kids. When I was at college, year nine, year eight, kids said some quite disgusting things about me to me. Those happen occasionally, but I've definitely got more positivity than negativity throughout my life because of it. And I think the people with negative opinions tend to have some manners and not say those opinions. I think the internet's the worst place for that. They've definitely got a lot more hate from the internet than a medical person. So I've never felt too unsafe because 
I, there's like a safety blanket with the monitor, you know. If someone types a message in chat, oh well, you know, ignore that. If someone's with that in person, I would feel quite unsafe, but I've had very few experiences with that in person just because people tend to have some loose manners at least. People care too much about how people perceive them to have a go at other people. At least that's the way I've seen it for a long time. Probably one of my favorite phrases is the people who mind don't matter and the people that matter don't mind. I just think people who are like me, we just want to live our lives. That's the main thing. You know, we're not trying to hurt anybody else. We're not going out our way to break your social acceptable levels of society. People have this idea that society has to be this way. We're not trying to intentionally be like, now nah, we're going to break that. We don't want that to exist. We don't want to make your life worse by being who we are. We're not trying to offend you. We're not trying to change your ideals of gender or anything most of the time. Like, obviously, we would like to help people become more informed. When it comes down to it, you respect us, and that's it. That's all we want. Just decent human respect. Same as anybody else would get.